Guys, some out tips for truckers. Doing my pre-trip, so we had this side light out here. Just want to do a video on how to change them out. You just put screwdriver, stick it in there, work your way all around. You don't have to pry it out all from one side, but you work your way side to side, back and forth, and eventually pop out. But most of the time, it's not a matter of just changing the light. Most of the time, the wire's broken. So you just peel back this uh, loom here. You can see, yep, this wire's broken right at the light. Luckily, Luckily I, got I got a got new it. spare anyway. And so you look at it, trace it back here, you got a little plug. So luckily no uh, buck connectors involved. Uh, so just plug and play on this new one. But I'll show you how to add buck connectors uh, after I change this but out. Before that, the new one comes with this other grommet. I'm going to use the old grommet because it's bigger and it's more likely going to fit in the place it came out of. So uh, I'm just going to trash that one. Trash this old light, obviously, but keep the old grommet, put the new light in the old grommet. So to add a buck connector to connect two pieces of wire, this is what a buck connector looks like. You know, connect two pieces of wire. You need wire strippers and crimpers. And this is what it's going to ultimately look like when we're done. The first thing you're going to do is you cut the wire where you need to cut it. Or if it's right at the end, just cut a centimeter off the end and then strip it. But uh, leave about an inch on each side for this uh, cover on the, on the buck connector to cover up. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to strip this wire, put a little bit, expose a little bit of wire. Now, when you look at the buck connector, you can see it's got this little metal piece in, and you're going to want to put it about halfway in. So about this much wire. This is a little bit too much, but you could fold it over like that, and uh, you could just you just mash it in there. So what you're going to do is you, this will actually tell you the gauge of the wire, but uh, it just takes experience to know how how thick a wire is. So you just eyeball it, you know to where you're going to cut off the insulation but leave the wire out. So this one's probably close to 14 or 16 gauge is, is pretty common for regular lights. And then, like I said, that's a little bit too much wire as you can see. We could just cut the end off or what we can do is twist it. And then if it's thin enough, we could just fold it over, throw it in there. And you want to make sure that the insulation on the inside, you can kind of see it through there, is just barely touching or, or just a little bit away from the contact material. And then you're going to want to take your crimpers here, and then this is going to push this down, and there's two on this side that are going to push it up. And then you crimp it, and as you can see, it tightens up that circle there super tight connection and then like I said I uh, already have this one exposed so we can just mash that in there take your crimpers and you're going to want to make sure you get it on the metal part not just this insulation and you can put a couple more crimps in there just to be sure get it really tight super strong connection and then you're going to take a lighter and light it on both these sides because these are heat shrinks but I don't have a lighter with me and then that's going to actually insulate the rest of the wire and keep moisture from getting into that connection shorting out and uh, corroding 